Alright, we have oil pressure after startup. Our switches are on, radios are working, our radios are coming up now. And I think we are ready to taxi out, so go ahead and follow me through for the first part. Rodrigo, and what I'm going to do is a brake check here, so I'm going to let it roll a little bit. And the brakes are working. A big wave to all the fans. <laughs> and a tail dagger. Since our forward visibility is very limited, and when we're taxiing straight, we actually do what we call S-turns, moving the nose back and forth. All of that's done with the rudder steering. We can use the brakes to tighten the turn a little bit. So here I'll bring the nose back around to the left side. The truth is I just don't know how to drive very straight. We're going to come down to the end here and warm this thing up a little bit. it up into the wind. Okay, I'm going to advance the throttle just a little more to bring the alternator online here. There it goes. Alright, so I like to use the acronym CIGAR for my pre-takeoff checklist. Starting with controls checked, so move them completely around the cockpit, make sure they are free and correct, and I'll allow you, you can do that. Okay. Alright. The second C is canopy closed and locked, so that's the levers over on our left side, the rear one is aft, canopy is locked. The third C is Cabin, meaning seat belts. Mine are both on and secure. How about yours? Mine are. Okay. Yeah. I is instrumentation. We're starting with altimeter set, and again, we will use a zero. All okay. right. Good. Uh, G meters reset. There's a small button on your G meter. If you push it, it will reset all the needles to one. It's closer to zero, actually. Okay. Oh, no, that's one. Sorry. Okay. Meters are reset and engine instruments in the green. We've got good oil pressure right now. Oil temperature is still in the yellow on its way up. It's warming up. The G is a gas. And we are currently, we have half, a little over half fuel in the wing tanks and a full aerobatic tank. We are running on the wing tanks. I will switch to the aerobatic tank before takeoff. We always take off and land on the aerobatic tank. Uh, G is gas, and all our gas caps are still in place and locked. Looks good. A is attitude. Elevator trim. Back here, I've got it set neutral for takeoff. If you need any trim changes, you'll have to just let me know. Okay. The airplane's so light in pitch, uh, you'll probably not find any of the forces very objectionable, though. But, but I do have a trim lever back here. And R is radios. I've got the correct frequency set. Transponder's automatic. It's on standby. Squawking VFR. And we've got the correct frequencies set in the uh, radio itself. And it sounds like the intercom's working fairly well. Yeah. How's the volume on that? It's, it's very good. I can turn it up some more if you need a little more. Uh, no, it, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. You, do have the, you have the volumes on your headset as well. If it gets too noisy, I'll ask you to turn it Okay. Yeah, they, the whole airplane, like I say, is incredibly noisy, so... When the power's up, it's... It's loud. Okay. And our oil temperature's now coming up, so I think we're warm enough. Let me check the cylinder head temps here real quick. And we got everything over 200, so... We're ready for a run-up. On the brakes, 
pulled the stick all the way back during the run-up. I'm going to enrich in the mixture here a little bit. And the power is going to come on up to about uh, 1700 RPM. And first flight of the day, so I'm going to cycle the propeller three times. You'll hear the RPM change. And we're getting a manifold pressure change and an oil pressure fluctuation. So the prop is working. And now uh, here's the magneto check. Starting with left. Going about 70 for the drop, back to both. And here's the right. And about 60 for the drop, back to both, sounds good. Temperature's coming up, pressure is up, and it is charging. Now we will do an idle check, so I'm going to pull it all the way back to idle. Make sure we have some semblance of a reasonable idle. And about 600 RPM. Okay. Switching to the aerobatic tank, turning the boost pump on, strobe lights are on. Alright, I think I am ready, the airplane's ready, are you all set, Rodrigo? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, follow me through on the takeoff. Okay. And as soon as we're off the ground and climbing, I'll go ahead and turn the airplane over to you. Okay. Taxiing out, we're going to look around for other traffic. Runway looks clear, upwinds look clear, downwind looks clear, and base and final looks clear. King City Area Traffic Extra 771 Tango Alpha is departing runway 29 or be a right turn out to the aerobatic practice area, King City. We're going to taxi out to the center of the runway and let it roll forward a little bit to make sure our tailwheel is straight. All set? All set. Okay. And here we go. Power's coming up. We're going to bring it right on up to full throttle. We're going to push the stick forward to raise the tail. And we're going to let it go to about 80 knots. And a little bit of back pressure and it flies. And you have the airplane, Rodrigo. Okay. We'll just continue flying straight ahead at about 100, 110 knots or so. Is a manifold pressure. Okay. And the propeller OPM is coming back to 2500 as well. And you can start a right hand turn. Looks clear over there. This will be a 90 degree turn onto our crosswind. and we're going to climb to about 3,000 feet initially. And coming through 1,500 feet, so I'm going to switch to the wing fuel and shutting the boost pump off. Everything looks good engine-wise. Beautiful day for it. Yeah. Awesome. Out of your way here. Don't we'll get to three thousand feet, we'll level off. We are now in the aerobatic practice area. We just flew in through the edge. And the center of the practice area would be just off to our right at about oh, 2 o'clock. There's a road over there and you might even notice there's a quarry just ahead of the right wing tip. Or a, a little rock mine out there. That's about the center, the geographic center of the aerobatic practice area. So we're going to go this way a little further and then we're going to turn right and head over there to the center. So, 
manifold pressure is now just under 24 inches. I'm going to bring the prop back a little further to 2400 RPM. And lean it out just slightly. We're now at about 22 gallons an hour. How does the elevator trim feel there? Looks like you're having to pull back just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Thank you, a little up trim. Okay, go ahead and roll in and out of some turn. Just kind of get used to the feel of the controls. I try to keep the 
uh, RPM back some for two reasons, fuel burn, but also noise. All these airplanes are incredibly noisy for the people outside, so, as well as us in here. I like to stay user friendly for <coughs> all the locals. And we're yeah. wings level right about there, Rodrigo. Good. We'll just keep the climb going here until 4,000. 3,800. Yes, yeah, 100, 110 knots works really good for the climb. RPM's coming back here a little bit again. Okay. And if you're up for it, let's take a look at that ballistic aileron roll next. If you would like. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna join you on the controls. Okay. And bring the throttle back here just a little bit. We're gonna go to level flight. And we're gonna do this first roll to the left, so it's gonna involve just pitching the nose up to oh we think it's about 30 degrees above the horizon. And then we're going to relax that back pressure, and then simply add it on and roll it. Okay. All set? All set. There he looks clear. And here we go. So we pitch it on up. Right about there. Now we're going to relax the back pressure, add a little aileron. on. We'll just roll it nice and slow. Here's the aileron in. Let it go on around. You can see the nose does drop as we roll. We get back to wings level. We simply pull the nose back up to the horizon. How was that? Used to the G-force. A little bit. And let's see, let's do a right hand 180-degree turn. And we'll add at 4,000 feet, and then you can try an aileron roll after we get back the other way.
sure that was, that was about 3 G's, just slightly over. Yeah. That, need, that needs to get in use too. It does, yes. That's why I wanted to use a little more speed and keep the G load down a little bit for you. center of the practice area at 3,900 feet. Back on the aerobatic tank. Okay. And when you're ready, let's lower the nose. We'll dive to about 160 to 170 knots. Looking good. Here comes the speed. And when you're ready, pull back on the stick to raise the nose. Oh, 
vertical from there. So I'm here about a tank, there is clear. And 
now to recovery. Powered idle. Full right rudder. Stop right away. Relax. Stick. Now pulling us out of the dive. Keep pulling the nose up. Keep pulling. Good. Keep going. Good. And we're level at 3,000 feet. And you can add power again. And there's an upright stand, about a turn and a half. Can you hear me? Uh, now I can. How are you feeling? Um, okay. Okay, so less than excellent. Do we head on back? Uh, yeah, a little dizzy. Alright, let's do that. So a left turn here, a left 90 degree turn, take us back towards the airport. Well, that was great, we did a lot of stuff there. Yeah. Through the airplane very well. So as you said, it's just a matter of getting used to everything. And we're going to start a slow descent. Uh, King City Area Traffic, extra 771 Tango Alps, about 3 miles to the north, descending through 3,000 feet for landing King City. Good morning, kid. How are you doing? We're not too bad. We're flying. Ground. Sorry, it's a little broken up, couldn't, couldn't catch all that. Alright, we'll be looking for you. Alright, we're going to continue straight ahead here, kind of on this high crosswind. Okay. Uh, King City Area Traffic X 771 Tango Alpha is now about a mile and a half. Off the departure end of runway 29 or descending through 2,000 feet, we're going to join left traffic for runway 29 or King City. Is clear of runway 29 or King City. And I'm going to let you taxi on back. You 
the hangar. Well, what do you think of all that, Rodrigo? It was very nice. Okay. Like I said, good job of flying. Yes. The, the G force is a little more than I was expecting. Okay. So, just getting used to. That's it. Just takes getting used. But you can see also why it it's not intuitive for anybody, you know, being upside down and being subjected to G forces. And add just a little bit of throttle. There you go. And then just slowly start moving that nose back and forth for the S turns. Be able to keep the area in front of us clear. Uh, Piper 70 going to turn left down wind, runway 2 down. Anyway, how long were we up there? Uh, we're just, at, right now at point six from engine start. But that's like... That is very much minutes? a normal, that's a normal, at yeah, 36 minutes. That's a normal flight for us. In terms of duration. Like I said, you did a lot of stuff.